Hello, Mr. Barton here with another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where every week I pick you out a question that is perfectly tailored to your brand new GCSE Maths exam that has been written exclusively for my Diagnostic Questions website. And the reason I choose these questions is they're the ones that are causing students all around the country some problems, and we try to isolate why and get to the bottom of it. So this particular question has been written by Edexcel, and it goes a little something like this. Helen and Sarah share some money in the ratio two to three. Let's give that a little highlight. Sarah receives 30 pounds more than Helen. How much money does Helen receive? Now, when I look at students' answers and explanations for this question, it's quite clear to me that the reason people are going wrong is they're not reading the question properly. They're jumping in there quick and they're going for kind of quick and easy ways that they think are gonna get the answer. Whereas my strong advice is, wherever possible, draw a diagram, and especially when it comes to ratio questions. Now, drawing a diagram for this question is quite easy. Well, well, I say it's easy. It's easy for normal people who can actually draw. I struggle a little bit, but I'm going to try my very, very best. Okay. Helen and Sarah share some money in the ratio two to three. So let me represent Helen's two parts here. One part, two parts. And this is Helen. And then we'll have Sarah. <coughs> she can go for a bit of green here. So Sarah gets one part, two parts. She gets three parts, okay? And that's Sarah there. Now, what do we know? Well, we know that Sarah receives 30 pounds more than Helen. So this extra bit that Sarah receives must be 30 pounds. Well, once we set it out like that, we're flipping laughing here because all those parts are of equal size. This extra part that Sarah gets is 30. So that tells me that all these parts must be 30 as well. So when the question says, how much money does Helen receive? Well, Helen gets those two parts there and two lots of 30, last time I checked, was 60 pounds. So Helen must receive 60 pounds, done and dusted. Now it looks quite simple when you do it like that, but of course it's not immediately obvious that you need to draw diagrams for these kind of things. But if you don't, you fall into the traps that we're gonna look at now because we've only had half the fun. You get the full amount of fun when you start to analyze where these wrong answers come from. So where on earth would 20 pounds come from? How could a student end up with an answer of 20 pounds? Well, I reckon you get this if you read this question dead quickly and, and read it as Sarah receives 30 pounds. So if Sarah receives 30 pounds, well then Helen is gonna get 20 pounds and it's gonna be split up 20 pounds to 30 pounds. But of course, it doesn't say Sarah receives 30 pounds, Sarah receives 30 pounds more. It's this extra bit there, okay? What about C, 90 quid? Well, what's 90 quid gotta do with this question? Well, 90 pounds is the amount that lucky Sarah gets. She gets three parts. So that is Sarah's money. So if, and you'd be flipping annoyed if you answered that one, right? Because you've done all the hard work, but you've read the wrong person that, that the question's asking you. And finally, what about D, 12 pound? Well, 12 pound is a classic. I see this so much. This is where you read the question as, Helen and Sarah share some money in the ratio two to three, and they've got 30 pounds to share. And if you split up 30 pounds, into the ratio two to three, you end up with 12 pounds to 18 pounds. And that's where you end up concluding that your final answer is 12 pounds. But that comes from misreading the flipping question. Now, the other thing I like to do on this GCSE question of the week is ask you what other answer you might be tempted to put in there, another incorrect answer. Um, I probably would go for 15. Why might somebody end up with 15 quid, I hear you ask? Well, imagine again if they've read this quickly and they've said that they, oh, flipping heck, they share the money two to three um, and they see that it says that uh, Sarah receives 30 pounds, so uh, 30 pounds more. So they think, oh, well, wait a minute here. Helen has two parts. So let's just take that 30 quid and let's just halve it and get 15 quid. But it can't be the answer, right? It cannot be the answer, but I've seen it, I've seen it. And the reason people go what wrong with ratio is because they don't do a diagram. So wherever possible, 
try and draw yourself a lovely little diagram. It just makes the question so much easier to deal with. Okay, if you're thinking, whoo, ratio, that's something I need to revise, and believe me, it is, it's got a really big emphasis in this new GCSE, then why not try the rest of the question, uh, rest of the quiz out, if I could speak? That'll help you identify any specific areas of weakness, and then use the videos, worksheets, and all that kind of stuff that I've got on my Mr. Barton website. And fingers crossed, you should be fine. And I will see you again for another question of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.